brief statement for y'all this morning. And then when um, she is finished, I just want to let you know that she will not be making any individual statements to the stations. Um, she will um, leave at that point, but she will have something, a packet for you in writing that you can take with you to your station. After she is finished, I would like to um, make a couple statements um, as soon as she's done, if that's okay. So, Ms. Judy Morales. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. You know, it's, today is, it's with a heavy heart that I am stepping down from the Temple City Council as a representative of District 2 and Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Temple. I have prayed about this for the last few weeks, and at this time, I believe that is the best thing for me to do at this time. I love this community, and especially my District 2. And I feel this is the best action for the good for all our entire community. I want to encourage all citizens to put aside any differences and work together as a community. I know that we all love our community and we want to work to improve it, not divide it or destroy it. It is my prayer that we become a community united and not divided and work together to make it a better for all. I sincerely believe in our justice system and believe that it is fair when all facts are presented. I also believe that we should not judge others until they have had the opportunity to present their information in court. I would like to set the record straight on just one thing. Um, I have never lied to anyone regarding this situation, and I have never taken any money belonging to the city, county, or any organization. That really hurt me when people would say that. I have made some mistakes, no doubt, in the past, and I have apologized for them, and I apologize today for any things I might have done. I realize now that one particular incident that I had overreacted to a situation because of a pre previous experience where both sides of the stories were not presented. And as a result, that story was distorted, twisted, and made into a sensational news. It certainly was not my intent that this issue would cause such disruption and division within our city. As we all know, this whole situation started with the city charter issue. Although there are many factors to that situation, my prayer is that the community will be included to bring about the needed changes in the charter so that it will comply with state laws and local needs. And this can only be accomplished by a citizen review board made up of all citizens representing all parts of our city. One thing that I'm really excited about is that out of all this is to see the many voters and supporters becoming very active and participate in shaping our city's future for the right reasons. And this is a good thing, and I pray that we will all step up and continue to participate and have our voices heard. You know, after all, this is our city, and more importantly, this is our freedom. I want to thank the many supporters in our city, especially voters from District 2, for their prayers and encouragement and support. And it's because of the loyalty of the supporters and voters that I remained on the city council to date. However, as I stated, I feel that I must uh, step down in order to enable the city to move forward and to continue to work together. History has demonstrated that District 2 and East Temple have been ignored and neglected for years. I found this out as I served on the city council. That's right. I believe that supporters and voters can, though, working together, we've made some great strides bringing, to, bringing about changes and awareness of these needs in District 2 and East Temple. And I know that we can continue to do that working with the present City Council. I have attached the East Temple Revitalization and Redevelopment Plan that was approved last year, and I would ask that these plans be continued to enhance our economic development, our housing, our infill, development, our neighborhood improvements, and all the new developments so that we can continue to see further improvements in our area so that we can have a balanced community. My commitment has and it will always will be to serve my community so that all citizens can enjoy the quality of life that our city has to offer. And I will also continue to serve and work in a way I can see that we will have equity and opportunities for all our citizens. 
It has been a very humbling experience that I'm very thankful for and an honor to have served as Mayor Pro Tem and represented for District 2 for the City of Temple. And I'm most grateful again to all my supporters and voters and the citizens of Temple. And I ask God's blessing for all our citizens and our great City of Temple. And I would like to just close in our remarks in Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And your and in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. And I believe that. I believe God is in control. I know that he will continue to bless us and work with us. Uh, there are challenges ahead that we need to look at. And uh, together, with God's help, I know that we can accomplish many things. And I thank you so much for being here today. And uh, God bless you all. Thank you.